Welcome to Morning Moments with Jesus. This morning as we gather, it is on my heart very strongly that we should pray for each other this morning. You know, there's great power in intercessory prayer or praying, praying for one another, praying for our circumstances and our situations in our lives. Praying for peace and for prosperity in our lives. Not just physical or financial prosperity. I'm also talking mainly about our spiritual prosperity. The Bible has a lot to say about praying for each other. And as we gather for morning moments with Jesus this morning. You may be listening to this but you have no idea how many other people are listening to this right now. It could be a precious few. It could be hundreds. There's different medias of how this devotion goes out. So only the Lord knows how many are listening this morning. But as we gather together, there's power. There's great power in praying for one another. And I'm reminded in Matthew chapter 18 this morning when Jesus is speaking about the power of corporate prayer. He says, again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst of them. So this morning I just want to kind of lead us all in a prayer for each other, for our situations. Father God, we come to you right now in the holy and wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the Savior of our soul, the author and finisher of our faith our mediator, our advocate, our precious cornerstone. Father, we pray for one another this morning concerning our families. Father, we pray over our household. We ask, Lord, that the Holy Spirit and all of your warring and ministering angels be round about our property and our homes. Seal every door, seal every window. Nothing comes through our homes unless it comes by you first. We pray over our marriages that a threefold cord would not be easily broken, that it would, would withstand any storm of life if its foundation is based on you. Father, we pray over our children and our grandchildren, even great-grandchildren if that's the case. Father, we pray right now in the holy and wonderful name of Jesus that they would grow up strong and of good courage. Lord, that they would have a foundation and a background based on the word of God. Father, we pray this morning for each other concerning our jobs and our finances. It's a crazy mixed up world right now. We need you. And we base your our prayer this morning upon your holy word. We have never seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. That my God shall supply all of our need according to your riches in glory. We claim that this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray right now that we would be lifted up in your word. We would grow in the nurture and admonition of your holy word. Father, we would live our life in such a way that people would see Christ living through our lives. Father, we pray for those that are not yet believers, those who have never placed their full and complete trust in a Savior named Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for them right now and ask, Lord, that you would touch them with the power of the Holy Spirit and lead and guide all of us as believers to speak more boldly of our faith. 
nor we pray for one another. For iron sharpens iron, and friends sharpen friends. Lord, I thank you for this network of people that you are binding together through morning moments with Jesus. Let us be strong. Let us be safe. Let us always be blessed. May today we take a little time to just take a little time and spend more time with you. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. I pray that you continue to pray for each other. If someone crosses your mind today, if the Holy Spirit brings someone to your heart or to your mind, give them a call, send them a text, check on them, let them know that you're praying for them and that you love them. Time is short. Soon we'll be going home. But until then, let us love one another. Let us pray for one another. Lord's will. I'll see you back here tomorrow. You have a great day. And God bless you.